perhaps inevitable that the bride's outfits should become the centerpiece of a wedding. And note, I did say outfits because we're talking about Indian weddings here. But just like the movies, you can't have traditional nuptials without dancing. And with the wedding season in mind, I asked Ikram Rahim and his dancers to show us just how it's done. Song and dance are essential elements of an Indian wedding, creating the vibe and setting the tone. The build-up to the nuptials begins with a function the evening before, when everyone gets an opportunity to show off some of their dance moves, often inspired by the latest Bollywood wedding tracks. Choreographer Ikram Rahim and his dancers were more than happy to show how it's done. Hi Ikram. Hi Kajal, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. So I'm very excited about uh, you teaching me as a bride. I'm going to be a bride for the day and you're going to teach me something for my Sangeet or my night before. Yes, are you excited? I'm very excited. But before we get into it, how popular is this trend of dancing at the night before function? It's always part of the bridal celebrations. Uh, it's just a little bit more accentuated in this day and age. So what if the bride wants her bridegroom to get involved, but he's not so keen? Well, generally we find that grooms are very much into sport. So we, we use a lot of sport base uh, in terms of rugby lifts um, and those sort of things that really kind of allow him to relate to the dance. And once that initial process is over, we kind of bring in the more dancey bits and by then he's already happy to continue with us. Now, I noticed you've got professional dancers here as well. Is this a trend to include them? This is done for two reasons. One, because as you said, it is a trend. Secondly, the bride is a lot lot more, um, I would say, prepared when she knows she has professional dancers dancing behind her. It also allows us to integrate entertainment with the function. Right, Ikram, I'm ready to go through this process. Perfect, let's do it. Ladies, a five minute break. Kajal, it's just you and me now. Very simple, we're just going to start off with some basic steps. It's just a few steps forward. So we're going to start with our right leg. So we're going right, left, right, left, right, left. To turn twice facing the back. So that's turn, perfect. And then we repeat, right, left, right, left, right, left. Turn to the front, turn to the front, perfect. And of course, if we're working with a more traditional bride, we add some garba movements to it, so very simple. Jump, jump, garba stick, jump, jump, lotus flower, dia, 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 dia. Well done, you're a natural. Thank you. So what if the bridegroom wants to get involved? Perfect, so what we do in this point is, we just add a little bit of partner work. For example, I'd be a groom. So what we're going to do is, if you could come to this side of me, because the lady's always on the right. right. We're just going to step out with your right leg. Okay. And he will turn you in. Perfect. We go this there. way, this way. And I'll turn you around. Perfect. This hand. And we're just going to sway. Perfect. Are you confident enough to try it with the dancers? Let's try. Ladies, we're going to do it once without music and then with music. Okay. Perfect. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two. Ikram. Well, there you have it, a taste of bridal choreography. It's not difficult at all and it's all about having fun. So when you're planning your big day, try out some dance moves. 